yes, we all know that Abba Kiari has been suspended and, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, that's the police chief, you know, the most decorated, like he was uh, rightly uh, described, most decorated Nigerian police chief. You know, he has been suspended and also replaced with someone. But guess what? He has been busted as, uh, you know, uh, he did some editing, you know, as uh, he changes his Facebook statement about what went down between himself and Hush Poppy. You know, when this whole issue first started, it looked like a joke. When Hush Poppy came in and, you know, uh, Kiari said he has nothing uh, to hide. He does not have any involvement with Hush Poppy and so on and so forth. He even wrote it on his Facebook, his Facebook page because, you know, when uh, that report came in, a lot of Nigerians called him out and, you know, a lot of people called him out. You know, they called uh, Kiari out that, hey, most decorated police officer and all of that. What is this we are hearing? So you can also be uh, involved in such kind of fraud and the likes and all, all of this, all of that. But, you know, somehow he said, well, he does not know what people were saying. He was seriously defending himself uh, uh, regarding that. And he gave a bit of his story on his Facebook page for Nigerians to know that he was not involved. But guess what? The same thing he wrote, he went back to do a lot of editing on it. Hmm. You can see that little by little, you know, all of this will come out. And of course, more details I'll bring to you about what he did right here. But please ensure you stay tuned, relax, enjoy. And don't forget, this is Saffron Media. Also, if you have not subscribed, please ensure you hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Turn on the notification bell. Like and also share this video. All right, dear friends, without further ado, let us get right into the details of those reports. As it says, the suspended and replaced deputy. Deputy Commissioner of Police Abba Kiari has changed the statement he posted on his Facebook page last Thursday, in which he said he only assisted self confessed fraudster Ramon Olonwa Abbas alias Hush Puppy to get native clothes and cap worth 300,000. Hush Puppy, who pleaded guilty to various charges, including money laundering, wire fraud, and felony, had said he used Kiari, the suspended leader of the Inspector General of Police Intelligence Response Team, to jail a fellow fraudster, Kelly Chibos of Vincent, after both were locked in a dispute, presumably, presumably over how to share $1.1 million loot received from a Qatari business person. Vision subsequently contacted the victim and informed them that they were being scammed by a syndicate involving him and Abbas, a U.S. court document reads. The United States Federal Bureau of Investigation had also alleged that Hush Puppy gave 8 million naira, approximately 20,600, to Kiari as a bribe for the arrest and detention of a co-conspirator Vincent. Reacting in a Facebook post on Thursday, Kiari said he only assisted Hush Puppy to get native clothes and caps worth 300,000 naira. The police boss, however, admitted arresting Vincent but claimed he was released on bill to go, to go and was not taken to any jail. But in another twist on Tuesday evening, it was observed that the suspended police chief had changed the statement he initially, put, he initially put on his Facebook page, editing out some parts, including the part where he admitted getting clothes and caps for the suspected international fraud star. He edited post, his edited post reads in full, Friends, Abbas, who we later came to know as Hush Puppy called our office about January 2020 that somebody in Nigeria seriously threatened to kill his family here in Nigeria and he sent the person's phone number and pleaded we take action before the person's person attacks his family. We traced and arrested the suspect and after investigation, we, re we discovered there wasn't an actual threat to anyone's life and they are long-time friends who have fraud money issues between them. Hence, we did SIC the needful and released the suspect on bill on health ground. 
Nobody demanded or collected any money from Abbas Hoshpopi. He can be interviewed publicly, publicly in the presence of the world media by the people holding him to confirm this. He also called for another case in June 2020 and complained about a financial transaction with a second person whom he said his friend sent 8 million naira to and pleaded for his friend's money to be recovered. He sent transaction slips and other evidences to prove their case against the person. All this can be verified from the hush puppy since he is still in custody. And it shall be verified from person who collected the eight million naira from Hush Puppy's friend, whom they are complained who they complained about is alive and is in Nigeria. Generally, whatever investigation or steps or tactics that is being taken in most cases, especially on the parties in this type of case from January to June, is not for public consumption. This is the true story. For those who are celebrating that this is an indictment on us and mentioning some fictitious big money, they will be disappointed. Once again, as our hands are clean and our record of service for two decades is open for everybody to see, they will continue seeing us serving our fatherland and we will continue responding to all distress calls from all nigerians for good nigerians who appreciate our service please don't worry as our hands are clean and they shall should please not respond to those celebrating and creating many false narratives without any true evidence we are used to such types of people and false newsmakers and distributors thank you all and god bless nigeria meanwhile his initial statement reads friends a boss who we later came to know as hush puppy called our office about two years ago that somebody in nigeria seriously threatened his family here in nigeria and he sent the person's phone number and pleaded we take action before the person attacks his family we traced and arrested the suspect and after investigation we discovered that there wasn't an actual threat to anyone's life and they are longtime friends who have money issues between them hence we released the suspect on bail to go and he was not taken to any jail nobody demanded for a couple from abbas hush puppy our focus was to save people's lives that were purported to have been threatened later he saw some of my native clothes and caps on my social media page and he said he likes them and he was connected to the person selling the clothes and he sent about 300,000 naira directly to the person's account the native clothes and cap five sets were brought to our office and he sent somebody to collect them in our office nobody demanded any money from Abbas hush puppy and nobody collected any money from him we responded to a distress call he made on to on threats to his family released the suspect and when we discovered there was no life threat from the suspect. This is a true story. Vincent is alive. He can be contacted. For those who are celebrating that this is an indictment on us and mentioning some fictitious big money, they will be disappointed once again as our hands are clean and our record of service of two decades is open for everybody to see. They will continue seeing us serving our fatherland and we will continue responding to all distress calls from all Nigerians provided they are life threatening. For good Nigerians, who appreciates our services please our service please don't worry as our hands are clean and they should please not respond to those celebrating and creating many false narratives without evidence we are used to such types of people and false newsmakers and distributors thank you all and god bless nigeria Yes, the Police uh, Service Commission on Sunday announced that it has suspended Abakiari, which we know that took effect on July 31st, 2021. So you can see how the story is beginning to change little by little, guys. Well, drop your comments. Let's hear from you and also give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.